In this machine learning class, we will see the singular value decomposition that is SVD. Uh, how the very big matrix will be divided into three smaller matrix. And after that, the linear discriminant analysis, how the overlapping classes are rectified okay, by using this LDA. We will see those things one by one. The first one is singular value decomposition, which is otherwise called as LDE, which is a matrix factorization technique. Matrix factorization means the very big matrix will be divided into three different smaller matrix, okay, which are used in linear algebra. Okay, here we are having matrix A of size M, N. So this one, A, the size is M by N. Okay, which is factorized into the form U summation V transpose. U summation V dash that is V transpose. Okay, U the size of U is M by R and size of summation is R by R and size of V dash is R by N. Okay, here U and U and V are orthogonal matrices. Orthogonal matrices. So, this one and this one, that is, those are independent to each other. Independent to each other, okay? And uh, uh, this U matrix, this one is M cross M matrix, which is unary, and V is M cross N unary matrix, and summation is M cross N rectangular diagonal matrix okay here the diagonal entries of summation are known as singular values of matrix a singular values of matrix a this one and the columns of u and v are called as left singular and right singular vectors okay the columns of u matrix and v matrix are left singular that is this is left singular and this is right singular okay vectors of matrix a respectively so this particular matrix next let us see the properties of svd first one the patterns in the attributes that is data set attributes the attributes are the columns isn't it so which are captured by right singular vector this one Right singular vector means V matrix. That is the columns of V matrix. And the second one, the patterns among the instance. Instance are nothing but the rows of the data set or records of the data set which are captured by the left singular vector of that is the columns of U matrix. See, the columns of U matrix. Okay. So, here the values of this one and this one here the columns of this one and this one are equal okay here the new data matrix with the k attributes is obtained by using the equation d equal to d into v1 comma v2 comma etc up to vk okay hence the dimensionality of this particular matrix will get reduced to k dimensions. Okay. So, SVD is used to in the context of text data. This is the application of SVD. And next let us move to linear discriminant analysis which is otherwise called as LDA. And this is also used to, to uh, the future extraction technique. Okay, so here the objective of LDA is transform the data set into lower dimensional future space. Okay, it will also reduce the dimensions of a data set. Okay, but the LDA focus on class separability, right? That is separating the futures based on class separability, right? So, this is called as linear discriminant analysis. Uh, and the application and the advantage of linear discriminant analysis is the overfitting of machine learning model will be avoided. Like PCA, 
the LDA is also calculate the eigen values and eigen vectors, but it computes within the class and the interclass scatter matrix. Okay, so the LDA calculates eigen values and eigen vectors within the class and interclass scatter matrix. Now let us see the steps for the LDA. Okay, here the first one is calculates the mean vectors of individual classes. For example, if we have five classes means it will compute five different mean vectors. And second one is calculate intra-class and inter-class scatter matrix. Okay. And third one, calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for SW inverse and SB. Here SW means uh, the intra-class scatter matrix and SB is nothing but inter-class scatter matrix. Okay, so SW which is equal to summation of I equal to 1 to C SI and SI which is equal to summation of X belongs to DI to N X minus MI into X minus MI whole transpose. Okay, here MI is nothing but the mean vector of I plus. And next let us uh, compute this SB. SB is the summation of I equal to 1 to C. NI into MI minus M into MI minus M whole transpose. Where MI, this MI is nothing but sample mean for each class. Right? And M, this particular M, which is overall mean of the data set. Okay? overall mean of data set and ni this one ni is the sample size of each class the sample size of each class so suppose if we are having five classes means what is the size of this five class and what is the mean of this five class after that the overall overall mean of the entire data set okay and the fourth one is Identify the top k eigenvectors having top k eigenvalues. This is the fourth step. And next, let us see one example for this LDA. Here, we are having two classes and we need to separate them efficiently. Okay, two classes. Uh, in this diagram, the green color circle is one class and red color circle is another class. Okay, and here, overlapping of those two classes are happened here. That means a class may have multiple features, but here we take only one future. Okay, so this is only one future. Hence, uh, some overlapping may be there and that is shown in this figure. So in this area, overlapping occurs. And now let us see another example. Here we are having 2D graph. Okay. So X and Y directions are there. And um, all the points, that is data points are plotted in 2D plan here. So this is one set of data and this is another set of data. That is class 1 and class 2. Two different classes are there. And now we need to classify those two data set. But uh, here there is no straight line that can separate two classes of data points completely. Here, see, we have to separate like this, isn't it? So by using a straight line, we cannot separate those two data points. Okay. In this situation, we can use the LDA which is used to reduce the 2D graph into 1D graph, okay, so that maximize the separability between two classes will be easy here. So by using LDA, we can achieve this one. Here, uh, the LDA uses both the X and Y axis to create a new axis to project the data into new axis, okay, that is the 2D graph will be reduced into 1D graph. 
okay if it is one dimension then we can easily plot the data points and we can easily understand the overlapping and all the other difficulties the lda uses two criteria to create a new axis okay so here uh, this is x axis and this is y axis by using lda we can create this new axis okay so by this new axis it maximize the distance between the mean of two classes okay so for example uh, this is first class the black color is first class and the red color is second class now the mean value may be here and may be here so the mean value between these two classes will be maximized and the second one is minimize the variance within the class okay so the variance inside the class are minimized so from this graph see from this graph the new axis is generated okay that is in the red color okay this particular graph axis okay uh, generated and plotted in two dimensional graph and it increases the distance between means of two classes okay so uh, it can easily separate two classes so the mean value of this class and this class got increased and minimize the variations within the class so within the class the difference will get reduced difference will get reduced okay uh, now after generating this new axis all the data points of class are plotted on this new axis only now everything will be tries to plot on this new axis okay see like this and this one will come here here this will come here this will come here like this so this one are shown in the below figure now we can easily and classify uh, the data with the clearly different two classes uh, so far we have seen the singular value decomposition and linear discriminant analysis Uh, from future extraction this is the third part of future extraction from second unit and the future extraction is one of the important topic and you can expect 10 mark question uh, in the uct examination okay in next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you